wash my hands. <laughs> in here. Anyone? Where am I? I can't see a thing. Where is all this dirt coming from? Maybe I'll just take some to get it out of the way. Hey, I think I can see some light. Uh, let me just grab some more of this dirt. Hey! I can't believe it! I've been buried alive! Again! Hey! My hand is back! Uh-oh. Well, this really can't be good. Where am I? Hi there. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, and I think I may be dead. I... Nice outfit. I... Am I really dead? I... Am I really, really dead? I... So... I'm completely dead. I... I'm not just mostly dead? I... Okay, look. You do still have a tiny shred of life you seem to be hanging on to, but for all intents and purposes, let's just call it dead. Dead. This boat looks immaculate. You'd never suspect it hauls around dead people all day. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Oh, do you go there too? Have we met before? Nay. You look familiar. Are you sure we haven't met before? I... Is there any chance you can take me back to the land of the living? Nay. Uh, where are you going in this boat? To the crossroads. Can we go to the crossroads now? Pay me. How much does it cost? The golden eyes of everlasting sleep. Eyes of everlasting sleep? I have to give you my eyes? Nay. I mean, I know that I'm dead, but I'm still rather attached to my eyes. You do not? Can I still see without them? I'm still really new to this whole being dead thing. It's a metaphor, you philistine! Just give me the two gold coins that were placed on your eyes when you were buried. Oh, golden eyes of everlasting sleep. I get it. But wait, I wasn't buried with any coins. <laughs> Typical pirate. No coins, no crossroads. Why is there a grog machine in the afterlife? For the thirst of eternal waiting. Hmm. Fair enough. I'll be back when I find some coins. I... Wow. You do pretty good in tips. Do not touch. It's a turnstile. Apparently, death has yet to shed any of the inconveniences of life. Yep, 
Here lies Frederick Pirate, loving husband, devoted father, pillar of the community, hanged because of a terrible misunderstanding. Oh. Behold the remains of our dear Captain Barrett, pecked through the brains by his mutinous parrot. R.I.P. Phineas McDriver, a.k.a. Shark Fightin' Finny, a.k.a. Sharkbait. Died from a bear attack. Hiya, doggy. Come here, boy. Oh, I wonder if he's lost. Better take him with me. Yikes. Uh, maybe I should make friends with him first. Here lies Ted, a pirate thief. He punched LeChuck and earned his grief. I think he missed a spot. Nay. There's a big smudge of filth right there. What? Ugh, pig knuckles, I just polished that too. Rotten kids. He's got plenty of money in there. I'll just take a little. Great! Now, what am I thirsty for? Oh, I guess there's no cherry grog. Shoot, that's my second favorite flavor. Right after purple. Sold out. Mm, cool, refreshing grog on the go. For when you need that extra something to face your day. You don't see one of those every day. Hmm, nothing. I think he missed a spot. Nay. There's a big smudge of filth right there. What? Ugh, pig knuckles, I just polished that too. Rotten kids. Maybe just a little more. What am I thirsty for? Hey, it may change for me. Hmm, nothing. Hi, it's me again. I. I found a dog. Is it yours? Nay. Can I ride the ferry for free? Nay. How much does it cost again? The golden eyes of everlasting sleep. Oh, right. Two gold coins. Bye. I... Gold coins. In LeChuck's haste to murder me and steal my wife, he forgot to put a couple of pennies on my eyes to secure my safe passage to the afterlife. Jerk. Here you are. Two gold coins. Please take me to the crossroads. I. Please enter the boat single file. While the boat is in motion, you must keep your hands and feet inside the boat at all times. The ferry to the center of the crossroads is not responsible for any belongings left on the boat after departure.
Sorry about that, but without the flash of enlightenment, old Caleb can't get a good exposure. Come, buy a souvenir picture. Uh, no thanks. I don't have any money. Is that so? Well, let's just see what you have on you. Indeed, you are broke. Well, when you do get your hands on some cash, which will probably be pretty soon on account of your being a pirate and all, don't forget to come back and purchase this lovely commemorative photo of your very own spirit entering the crossroads. That's fine, just stay out of my pockets, will ya? Excuse me? I have a few questions for you. What's on your mind, Tripwood? Where am I? And what is the crossroads anyway? The crossroads are where the physical and spiritual realms meet and where your journey into the afterlife begins. From here you can choose your final fate and fulfill your pirate destiny in Phila's Green. Or maybe you'll just mope about like a schlub. Personally, you look a bit like a moper to me. What are you doing here? You might say, I'm a lost soul trying to find my way, but I can't seem to find my guide dog. I've been here a long time, so if you get lost and need some guidance, you come see me. Do you know the voodoo lady? Can you be a bit more specific? Maybe a name? I've known a lot of voodoo ladies in my time. I, uh, never got her name. I noticed I have a shred of life in my pocket. Why? Everyone shows up with something that they cling to. You must have thought that staying alive was pretty important for some reason. Well, yeah, I... Me? I brought a corn dog. I love corn dogs. Where did the creepy boatman go? His only job is to ferry arriving souls to the crossroads where they can choose their eternal destination. Once he's done his job, he'll no longer appear to you. Also, he said he had to leave early for his sister's baby shower. Has anyone ever been able to return to the land of the living? Nope, never. No, sir. Can't be done. Are you sure no one has ever been able to return to the land of the living? Whoever told you a thing like that? Of course it can be done. Why, I remember a handsome young pirate who returned to the land of the living once, hoping to reunite with his one true love. That's what I need to do. LeChuck, I think his name was. LeChuck? But he came back to life as, in order, a ghost, a zombie, a demon, a living statue, and a killer walrus. I don't want to be any of those. Don't think that true love thing worked out too well for him either. Things started getting awfully crowded around here after he returned to the living. Well, how did the Chuck escape? He just grabbed himself aboard, caught a gnarly wave, and was out of here. Are you lying to me? What? What did I say? That he surfed his way out. What? No, that'd be stupid! LeChuck returned to the world of the living with a powerful voodoo spell that he obtained from the other side. A spell? Yep. And if there's one thing I know about, it spells. What happened to the spell LeChuck used to return to the land of the not dead? Some say it is locked away in a vile treasure chest and hidden somewhere in the crossroads. But no one knows for sure. 
Well, it's been great talking to you, strange old man who kind of smells like olives, but I don't plan on sticking around here in the afterlife. My wife is still alive out there somewhere. You do that. Might be surprised at what you find when you get there, though. What do you mean? I died like two minutes ago. <whistles> huh? This must be the center of the crossroads. Yes. This is the point at which every soul must choose their ultimate pirate path. You may choose sword mastery, thievery, or treasure hunter. Three. How piratey. I always wondered what it would be like to be dead. I think I expected a bit more pomp. Circumstance, even. The crossroads is great and all, but, you know, a 21 musket salute wouldn't hurt. A chariot. Ooh, pirate chariot. A choir of sirens exalting my name. You know, a little something. Old Creepy Bones left his tip jar. I'll just hold on to it. For safekeeping. Morgan? Ahoy, matey! I see another swordsman be coming to challenge me for entrance into an afterlife full of sword play and swashbuckling. Very well. Let's test your wit. Thank goodness you're all right! Hey, I be talking to you! No, I'm not all right. I'm dead. Apparently you are too. Now go away! Well, you'll be happy to know that I obliterated your murderer. You destroyed LeChuck? Uh, what? Death must have scrambled your noggin. LeChuck killed me. DeSinge killed you. Ah, uh, hello. Sword fighter looking for a challenge over here. DeSinge? But you said... That's just great. My one shot at redeeming myself, and Mr. Mighty Pirate can't be bothered to properly listen to my death rattles. But... And on top of that, he sullies my reputation as a kick-butt pirate hunter by insinuating that I couldn't beat a wimp-wristed, wig-wearing sissy boy like DeSinge with two arms tied behind my back! Sorry? God, I'm depressed. Look, I'm not planning on sticking around this land of the creepy. I got unfinished business with LeChuck, and my wife is still in danger. I'm probably gonna need some help getting out of here, and you are my only friend. Forget it. I'm a worthless, backstabbing traitor with poor communication skills. I don't even deserve to be your friend. Anyone? All you need is to get a little fight back in you. Come on, grab your sword and fight me! No, I won't fight an unarmed man. I be armed! Fight me! Fight me! Well, I'm not done with you yet, lady. I'll be back. <sighs> Fine. I'll just wait over here, then. Pardon me, mind if I borrow this? Hey! LeChuck stuck that in me for a reason, you know. LeChuck? Aye. He came back after me and me mate stole some gold turtle from him. He chopped off me head and asked me to hold that for him. In your decapitated head? Yeah. Oh, he just wanted to kill me, huh? That'd be my guess. Aye, that makes sense. So, you're ready to fight, eh? I am, but not with you. I just want to say thanks for the sword. So, thanks. Hmm. On your feet, Mo. Fine. Yes, now we're talking. I'm getting in on this action. I'm useless. I can barely even lift my sword. There certainly is a foul smell coming from this fight. See? In some ways you are stronger than me. I died a failure. 
I used to dream that somebody would call me the greatest pirate hunter in the world. You make me want to puke. I bet people say that about you all the time. I'm the most cunning pirate on the seven seas. Do you know what my IQ is, boy? Seriously, on a scale of one to ten, how terrible a person am I? Negative one, if that. You know what? You're right. I was a darn good pirate hunter. Sure, I made a couple of bad decisions and my enunciations could apparently use some work, but as long as we are both here in the crossroads, I can still make it up to you. You can't match my witty repartee. I could if you would use some breast spray. Wow, I didn't think that you had it in your last. Now my head and I can move on and you can be the guardian. You just have to stay here until someone comes and challenges you. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Well, you deal with that on your time. I'm off to battle on the endless seas of Davy Jones' locker. You know what? I think I will stay here and challenge the weak and unworthy for a while. I knew you had it in you, Mo. Listen, I am sorry for the way I betrayed you. If there is any way I can help you, just ask. Hey, you. What's up? I have an idea how to get out of here. Guybrush, forget it. We're dead. Yeah, but LeChuck was once able to escape using a voodoo spell. I just need to find it. Really? There's a chance I can return to the living world and continue to take down pirates? Present company excluded, of course. Seems that way. Well, if I can help in any way, let me know. Are you sure it wasn't to Sinch who killed you? He sure acted guilty. Didn't you pay any attention to my dying words? I clearly said, don't trust LeChuck. He's hypnotized a bunch of monkeys and ran me through with my own blade. That's weird. I heard you say, DeSinge is a schmuck. When he got thirsty, he killed me for some lemonade. In my defense, it should be noted that you were coughing up a lot of blood at the time, so something may have gotten lost in the translation. Did Galeb try to sell you a picture of your spirit at the crossroads, too? He tried, but I don't like people taking pictures of me. It's bad for my business. Sounds like he got his camera fixed by the time you got here, though. Hey, when you crossed over, were you still clinging to a Shred of Life, too? Shred of Life? No. But I guess it makes sense for you, considering everything you left behind. What would you say was the most important thing to you when you were alive? My independence, probably. I liked being my own woman. Still do. Don't run off. I don't think I'm allowed to. Good luck with the sword fighting gig. I'll be back. Welcome, welcome, fellow thief. You are a thief, aren't you? Of course you are. You wouldn't be here if you weren't, am I right? Of course I'm a thief. Excellent. Make yourself at home. Feel free to look around. We have many valuable stolen items here. I keep them around as trophies. What's the deal with this thing? Ah, that's an old one, friend. They say that toe-juice-encrusted sock was once worn by LeChuck himself. The thief who stole it claimed he slipped it right off the zombie pirate's oozing undead foot without being noticed. Funny how he showed up here in the afterlife, still clutching the sock in his fist. Wow. You mind if I, uh, steal it? Actually, I'd prefer you just take that one. It's really starting to stink up the place. Excuse me. What is it, friend? What are all these things? Those are the things I have stolen from the poor, unsuspecting pirates passing through. Some real gems there, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. What was that you said? Uh, I didn't say anything. Are you sure? 
I thought you might have said there was something behind me. There's a three-headed monkey? There is. Well, I'd better turn around and look at it. Well, no. I don't see Secrets aren't meant to be here. stolen. Are you Yoink. sure you meant behind? I hate to be a bad host, but I'm afraid you have got to be moving on. Oh, okay then. I can't have this place full of thieves all the time, or people will stop coming in, you know what I mean? Well, thank you for being so accommodating. Speak nothing of it, friend. Feel free to come back at a later time. Treasure Hunter's dream in here. Aye, matey, help yourself. If there was ever a treasure in life you were meant to have, just do some digging and she'll be yours. Greetings, fellow dead guy. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. My uh, I know who you are. You do? Wow. I knew I was getting pretty famous, but who knew my legend extended into the afterlife? Legend Schmidgen. We bumped into each other back on Spoon Isle. Oh, yeah, you were one of the guys trying to beat up LeChuck. How'd that work out for you? You tell me, smart guy. Ooh. I've been told by a marginally reliable source that LeChuck may have buried something important around here. LeChuck? Ah, he should bury himself if he knows what's good for him. So you don't know anything about it? No, but there are a lot of X's here. Hard to tell what's buried where. There sure are a lot of X's around here. Well now, aren't we the observant spirit? Were you some sort of scout in your former life? Or were your age dulled senses restored to the fullness of youth after you passed away? I'm a mighty pirate. Of course you are. We're all mighty pirates down here, schmuck. And this is the treasure hunter's paradise, with never-ending caches of pirate booty found under each and every X, as far as the eye can see. Wow. So let me get this straight. There's a fabulous pirate treasure under each and every one of these Xs? What? You still got grave dirt in your ears? Try it yourself! What are you doing? Why aren't you digging up more treasure? Yeah, I'm taking a break, counting up what I have so far. Can you show me how the treasure hunt works? Sure, why not? A pirate can never have too much treasure. This looks as good a spot as any. Yikes! Flying sand fleas! Uh, so this is what happened to my cursed pirate parrot of Petaluma after Desinge obliterated it. Hey, where are you going? Come back! Murray? Whew. Thank goodness. Not that I'm scared of Murray. Murray's a punk. You hear that, Murray? You're a punk! Ah! <laughs> You're still a punk. Hey, wait a minute! Some of my stuff is gone! That two-bit thief robbed me! Pretty smoothly, too. Nah. Splice the main brace! Another bag of gold! I tell you, I'll never get tired of this.
leg bone connected to the uh, mm -hmm. oh, shoot I can never remember that song you look like uh, Franklin hey boy you look hungry want a bone here you go boy oh, poor thing you should probably come with me little guy. Find LeChuck's hidden treasure chest. Hmm. Maybe he doesn't know what he's looking for. Here you go, boy. Get a big whiff of this. I think he's got the scent. Okay, boy, dig me up a vile-looking treasure chest. Hey, where you going? Bad dead dog. Franklin, there you are. You're supposed to be finding LeChuck's hidden treasure for me. What are you doing here? Oh, such a cute little dog. Is he yours? Um, no. <coughs> what are you hiding, Caleb? More than meets the eye. So, nothing. Here, I'll talk. What? Why, I never. <coughs> hmm, but you do have the treasure. So I'll ask you, you'll say no, and around we'll go. It's hard to say. Have a whiff of this thing, Fibby McFarfig Nugan. That's not my name. Hey! That smells like him! The Chuck's treasure. Way to go, Franklin, you salty dog. Now look, you've sullied the air over there. That's what I smelled right before taking a thump to the head all those years ago. That is one ugly chest. Oh man, it's locked. And I left my hook on my other body. Now how am I going to get it open? The box of LeChuck. Locked with the, um, lock of LeChuck. Welcome back, friend. Do you think you can unlock this completely non-valuable treasure chest for me? There's a worthless slip of paper inside that I really need. Um, I'll let you keep the chest in exchange. Sure, friend. In fact, I already unlocked the chest while you were talking. But I'm afraid it's empty. What? See for yourself. Hey, what was that? What was what, friend? You just kicked my spell into that pile! I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. We'll see about that. Excuse me. What is it, friend? Hey, the last time I was in here, you robbed me! Aye, of course I did. And you robbed me as well, if I remember correctly. Ah, you got me. <laughs> What's a few stolen items amongst thieves, eh? <laughs> Good times. Good times. What happened to your hands? LeChuck happened to them. I guess he still held a grudge from when we stole the summoning turtle from him when he was human. He came back and slaughtered us all. Doesn't having no hands get in the way of your thievery? Not if you're good. 
I can lift a wallet with my teeth, crack a safe with my toes, and loot an entire treasure hold using just my, uh, cheeks. Ew. So, what kind of thievery skills do you have? The usual, friend. Pickpocketing, lockpicking, safe cracking, and creating artificial buying pressure for a generally low trading volume issuer in the over-the-counter securities market. Yeah, me too. Did you steal everything in here? Most of it, friend. Would you mind, uh, looking behind you again? There's something behind me, you say? Hmm, better have a look. Why, I don't see anything over here. Okay, Are boy, you sure you do your thing. Behind me? Maybe if I try squinting. Nah, okay, I think it was a pain to carry around. Just a I think I'll leave longer. it. But then I'm turning around. Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. Hey, Caleb? Hello? Huh. Looks like he wandered off. Maybe he'll turn up later. Is this your dog, friend? Nope. I've never seen little Franklin before in my life. Well, that mangy mutt was trying to run off with one of my scrolls. So I whacked him on the nose with it and threw it back in the pile. I'll see if I can find who he belongs to. Excuse me. What is it, friend? There's something, uh... Ooh, where? Why, I don't see anything over here. Okay, boy. Do your thing. Are you sure you meant behind me? Swipe. Maybe if I try... Time, time to go, friend. Oh, right. <laughs> Till next time, friend. Yep. Give me the spell. Oh no, what have you done with the spell? Did you bury it here with all the treasure somewhere? Bad, Franklin. Okay, boy, do your thing. for you, you little spell thief. It's the spell that Chuck used to escape back into the living world. The physical and spiritual realms coexist as do night and day. To journey from one to the other, a pirate must know his way. Search around you and within you to find these things, and at the center of the crossroads, present them in a ring. The journey is confusing. Something must guide your way. And you must have an anchor to ensure that you will stay. What gives you courage to face the dangers to come? and a sacrifice in your name that cannot be undone. Oh, great. More tiny parrots. 
I guess since he got atomized into a million bits, there are going to be a lot of these guys. Shoot, this jar would be a great place to keep the tiny squawkers, but I can't get close enough to catch them. Treasure, all you can dig. That's nice. Nope. What's up? I found a spell that will let me return to the land of the living. Really? That's great! How do we use it? First, I need to gather a bunch of ingredients, but I'm having some trouble figuring out what they're supposed to be. Maybe you can help. Maybe. What are the items? The journey is confusing. Something must guide your way. Sounds like you need something to point you in the right direction. The journey is confusing. Something must guide your way. Sounds like you need something to point you in the right direction. What gives you courage to face the dangers to come? I don't know. What do you pirates use when you stupidly take on insurmountable dangers without an ounce of fear? Pirates do that? Boy, I need to learn how they do that. What gives you courage to face the dangers to come? I don't know. What do you pirates use when you stupidly take on insurmountable dangers without an ounce of fear? Pirates do that? Boy, I need to learn how they do that. Part of the spell requires a sacrifice made to me. That sounds pretty complicated. Maybe you should focus on the other ingredients first. Yeah, good idea. How's the sword fighting gig going, Mo? You know, it's not bad. I've already defeated three total posers and one half-decent fencer. It's not quite the same thrill I got from being a hired mercenary, but it'll do for now. You still depressed about being dead? It's not so bad. I'm not so sure I'm ready to move on, though. Being a guardian for the crossroads and fighting off the weak and unworthy is fun, but I don't think I want to be stuck here for eternity. I'll be back. I'll be here. Good luck with the sword fighting gig. I'll be back. center of the crossroads. Something to find your way. Check. <laughs> Sit. Stay. Good dog. One bottle of liquid courage. Mo money, Mo ability to solve puzzles. It's the spell that Chuck used to escape back into the living world. I'm not supposed to sacrifice myself. I think someone else needs to make a sacrifice for me.
Welcome back, friend. Peg legs? How did he manage to steal all of these without the wearers noticing? Clay urns. That's weird. I have a nagging urge to smash these. I wouldn't do that, friend. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Because it's rude. Right. Of course. Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. I brush three foot. Mighty pirate. Uh, at least they finally got the last name right. How goes the treasure hunt? Fantastic! I found a voodoo spell to get me out of the crossroads. Well, aren't you special, Mr. Too Good to Stay Dead like the rest of us? I need these ingredients. Seen anything around that fits these descriptions? I don't know. I've dug up a lot of treasure here. It's possible one of those things may be around here. So let me get this straight. There's a fabulous pirate treasure under each and every one of these X's? What? You still got grave dirt in your ears? Try it yourself! Can you show me how the treasure hunt works? Sure, why not? A pirate can never have too much treasure. Hmm. It's surprisingly light. Nice treasure pile. Another treasure! Sometimes it's good to be dead. away. Check. Okay. All I need is a sacrifice in my name. Where the heck am I supposed to find that? Hey, you. What's up? Hey, Mo. I still need one more thing for the crossroads spell. Some kind of sacrifice. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. 
I think I have an idea. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, where is this sacrifice? I I don't see anything. Right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that... Is that a good idea? What? No, no, this is just my reputation. I can easily build that back up again. Well, okay. Are you sure? Right. Thank you. <clears throat> well, don't just stand there. Get on with the spell. Of course, the spell. Wait, I don't know what else I'm... Well, I guess this is it. Seems safe enough. Ladies first. Hey! Huh, that's weird. I can go through no problem. Oh, heck no! I am not getting stuck in this afterlife. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know, you just go on through and take care of your business. I'll figure it out. Okay. Wish me luck. Ah, ah! Why won't this thing open? Elaine, get over here and help me. I've spent months getting those mangy voodoo cursed monkeys into place so I could conjure up the entrance to the crossroads. I won't be thwarted now. Oh, come on. I broke your spirit, not your back. Get over here and push. You know, you didn't have to actually kill him. And why not? Do you know the number of times that bony buccaneer has killed me? Look. I let you catch me, and I played along with your stupid nice guy act because I thought that it would get Guybrush to realize that the voodoo lady was- Do not mention that woman in my presence. That cursed voodoo witch will control my fate no more. Now that I have La Esponja Grande, I can use it to suck pure, unlimited voodoo energy directly from the source. I will become the demon pirate god, and you will be my goddess. And this time, there will be no Guybrush Threepwood to spoil our wedding plans. <laughs> what was that? Yes, that's it! you what's going on here. You've lost! I now have full access to the unlimited voodoo power of the crossroads themselves! This is my moment of ultimate triumph! So, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, would you like to RSVP for the wedding now or later? Quick in fear, LeChuck, before you stands the man who tore open the crossroads themselves. You opened the crossroads. <laughs> then I suppose I have to thank you for doing my bidding for a second time. Uh. Why didn't you just get the merfolk to do it? Merfolk? Ugh. To be honest, those fish people creep me out. Besides, manipulating you was much more fun. I was counting on your abilities to bring the sponge to me. So you admit, I am better than you. 
You are the only living soul that can do that, uh, you know. Boy, was my face red when La Esponja Grande turned out to be so small. But then, you took right care of that, didn't you? <laughs> the voodoo lady the said... The voodoo lady? By the way, does anyone know if she has a name? It feels weird just calling her voodoo lady. But I'll be taking care of her soon, too. <laughs> I have infused the Cutlass of Kaflu with demonic power that no mortal can touch. Hmm. This weapon that was designed to destroy me will ultimately set me free when I use it to slay the woman who has locked you and I in this perpetual loop of fate. Isn't that right, Elaine? Yes. Yeah. And we shall slay her together. Make me your demon bride. What? My demon bride? Kinda gets you all choked up in here, doesn't it? Face it, Threepwood. The Chuck has more power than any pirate could possibly dream of. And besides, you're dead now. Well, so is he. I'm sorry, Guybrush. Bunny. No! The <laughs> <laughs> rain is mine! And yet here you are, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, trying to interfere with my big moment with Elaine once again. Well, come on and stop me! Give it your best stab! Back off, Bony. I'm a pirate. An entire island to ourselves. Aha! Prepare to meet your... Oh, come on! Problem? Why can't I grab anything? That's just one of the side effects of being a fleshless specter. Good thing you are, though. Just one slice of that re-enchanted blade is enough to destroy anything it touches in this mortal world. I was gonna use that to save you and kill the Chuck again. It ain't so easy being a ghost now, is it, Mr. Freepwood? Well, that's how I felt all those years ago, when I was a simple ghost pirate roaming the seas. And now, you're about to know how it felt when you ripped my spiritual essence to shreds when you doused me with that ghost-destroying voodoo root beer. Uh, Lady Boo? Let's not be hasty. It felt a lot uh -oh. like this. <laughs> Guybrush, what happened? Did you defeat LeChuck? Save your wife? Avenge my death? She... She stabbed me. What? Elaine. She's LeChuck's demon bride. And she zapped me with voodoo root beer. Demon Bride? She must be under LeChuck's control. Get back in there and save her! No, she's not. She looked me right in the eyes and then chose him. They're gonna take over the world together. There's a demonic sword involved. It's over. Well, that's good news. Huh? Now you're free to just curl up and enjoy a sad, pathetic eternity in Pirate Afterlife. Of course, I'm not sure if they're still letting whiny schoolgirls in. You'll have to check. Come on, Morgan. I just lost my wife. So go take her back, Guybrush. Are you a mighty pirate or aren't you? I... Look, I know you're not the most fearsome pirate to sail the Seven Seas, but what I've learned about the Guybrush Threepwood that inspired me for my entire life is that there isn't any situation he can't handle. And the one thing I've admired about you throughout our entire adventure together is that you never gave up on Elaine. Maybe if I could find a way to use that cutlass. But if I go back, they'll just zap my ghost again. So get your body back. What, just find my body and repossess it? Wait, that sounds kind of familiar. The voodoo lady's locket. Find the locket, find your body. And 
then bring the fight to that decrepit sack of sea worms and make LeChuck rue the day he decided to mess with Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate! Yes! I still have no clue what rue means. But it sounded great. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to go skewer some more sorry ghosts, maybe practice my pickpocketing, I don't know, something. Morgan! Thanks. Treepwood, what have you done? Ah! Talking crabs! Why did you open the crossroads? With the barriers shattered, the chuck is now beyond all control, plundering voodoo energy directly from the spirit realm. Thanks to you, reality itself could unravel like a cheap rug. Me? What about you, Miss All-Knowing All-Seeing Voodoo Puppet Mistressy Person? Why didn't you warn me that LeChuck had nefarious plans for La Esponja Grande? I'm afraid LeChuck made fools of us all this time, Guybrush. But hope is not yet lost. Well, he didn't fool me. In fact, I'm already working on a plan to possess my body. So they can't zap me with root beer again when I go back. Yes, the voodoo root beer only affects spiritual manifestations in the physical realm. If you can manage to repossess your body, you may yet be able to use LeChuck's weapon against him. You mean the Cutlass of Kaflu? You must figure that out for yourself. Go now, find your body, find a way for your spirit to possess it. But remember, rebinding a soul to a body is not as simple as taking yourself over. You're rebelling against the natural state of things, and the universe will push back. Once you have possessed your body, you'll have to find a more permanent way to bind it to your soul. I recommend Mix and Mojo brand Spirit Gum. It can create a powerful spiritual bond that will bring your restless spirit and body together in harmony. It's also delicious. It comes in lemon, cherry, and mutton flavors. I always have some with me. Can you give me some of that spirit gum? I cannot risk coming out of hiding to aid you, Guybrush. But I was chewing some when I was in prison back on Flotsam. I may have left some back in the jail cell. Remember, spirit gum contains some ingredients from the spirit realm, so it retains some ghostly properties. Be careful with it. I must go now, Guybrush. It is too dangerous for me to let my true whereabouts be known. Ugh. I hope this is just a phase she's going through. Whoa. This whole jumping between realms thing is gonna take some getting used to. Hey you, pipe down. We're in the middle of a pirate wake here. A what? Oh, yep, that's me. This is a pretty disappointing wake. Yeah, well, LeChuck's killing spree may have hindered the turnout a bit. And why am I posed like that? It's zany. The customers love it. What? That's exactly the way I remember you. Yo, bug eye. What do you want, pipsqueak? So how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I don't want to talk about it. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. You took the gross out subway again, didn't you? Wrong. Now buzz off. Yo, bug eye. What do you want, pipsqueak? Woo, I'm a ghost. Aren't you guys scared of me? Well, you weren't very threatening while you were alive, and I'm afraid the new pirate ghost thing isn't helping. Hey, whatever happened to that locket to Kaba had? 
Probably at the bottom of the ocean with the rest of... Well, it's at the bottom of the ocean. Seriously, how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I said, I don't want to talk about it. I bet I can guess. You dressed up like a throat grub and snuck out through the blowhole? Manatees don't have blowholes. Plus, that's really stupid. Now leave me alone. That's the blindfold I wore back when I had my first bar fight here. Although, technically, it was my pox-infested hand that did most of the fighting. Ah, good old Lefty. I hope he's happy, wherever he is. Guybrush Threepwood. Mighty... Well, at least someone thought to get a nice wreath for my wake. What, that? Ah, it was brought in as kindling when we decided to burn your body. Oh. Welcome back, friend. Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. dark to actually see what's in here. So much for ghost powers. Huh. Another hypnotized monkey. Standing mostly. What's going on with the crossroads? I thought the spell would take me back, not just rip open the spiritual realm. Is there any way to stop it? Yes. I assume you are still carrying around that last shred of life you came here with. If you were to give that up, the rips in the crossroads should close right up. Really? It's as simple as that? Yep. A simple sacrifice of a teensy shred of life. And all these rips will seal up good as new, putting everyone in their place for eternity. Of course, you'd be stuck here for good, and the chalk is probably already powerful enough to destroy every living thing on the planet, so I don't see what good it'd do. So I can close these rips, but then I'll really be stuck here? A pirate's life. Not for me. For eternity. I'd like to buy that spirit photo, please. I think my wife will get a kick out of it, once I figure out how to get back to her. That's the spirit! <laughs> spirit. How much is it? That should cover it. Enjoy the memories! Wood? Captain on deck! Mr. Winslow? Relax, I'm not the captain anymore. I'm dead. 
Ah, yes. I thought you looked a bit more wispy than usual, sir. This is hardly the screaming narwhal. What happened? It was that nasty Lechuck fellow, sir. Ooh, you were right about that one. First, he knocked me off the ship, and then he kidnapped your lovely wife. And then... Yes? Then he... Oh, I can hardly say it, sir. Did he make you kill someone? Force you to turn on your family and loved ones? He took down the map, sir. How does one expect to get anywhere without a map? Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir? What are you doing out here? Sailing, sir. Sailing? Well, rafting at least. Why is there a monkey on your raft? Actually, the raft belongs to the monkey, sir. LeChuck tried to convince your wife that right here was this creature's natural habitat. Between you and me, sir, I dare say that LeChuck wasn't trying to help these poor monkeys at all. What happened to the narwhal? After LeChuck knocked me off, he simply set it adrift at sea. That's all for now, Mr. Winslow. Very good, sir. And overboard! Good heavens, sir! I think that's what's left of Dekava's ship. The Voodoo Lady's locket! It's stuck up there on that seaweed! But it looks like it survived another harrowing voyage through a giant manatee. Sometimes on my birthday, Elaine wears fishnets. Ah. This being the real world, I still can't touch anything, so this fishnet has to stay here. should be doing hiding from him oh man what did he do to you nothing yet thank poseidon look i know winslow can be a bit forward if not a bit body but he's got a good heart no not sweet reggie i mean the chuck oh i see he destroyed spinner k the sails of his undead pirate ship are filled with the winds of the apocalypse oh that's not good look come out and let's talk about this no i'm too frightened can I get you to come out? No, I don't trust anyone. Well, maybe Reggie. Wait, Winslow? That salty dog. Despite our taxonomic differences, Winslow understands me. Huh, I wonder how that works, um, logistically. But now I'll never see him again. You and Winslow are you and Winslow? I'd never assume he would have me as his life partner. But we have shared our love. Whoa. Too much information. And now I'll never see him again. Would you come out for Winslow? I would venture out of the safety for a mere sign of my dear Reginald. A mere sign? A mer sign, perhaps? Huh? I'll go see what I can do. Winslow isn't too far away. He's come to see me? Uh, sure. I knew what we had was special. I don't know if special is the word I'd use. Where is my Reggie? He's in a raft floating above us. Then why doesn't he come down here and rescue me? It's like a hundred fathoms or something. He'd drown. You're here. I'm special? I'm not certain special is the word I would use. I'm not sure how to say this, but what was your relationship like? It was a rare thing, like a perfectly formed pearl in the mouth of a clam. 
Out of morbid curiosity, does he get into the water, or do you shimmy up on land? <gasps> Forget it. Forget it. If you are so curious, you can find your own Vecalian. Not that any of us would have you. Mm, tempting, but uh, I'll stick with my bipedal plunder bunny. You and Winslow were pretty hot and heavy, huh? Weight is negligible underwater. Huh. I think I'm grossed out. I'll be back later. Be careful! Up we go! Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir? A Nepalme is hiding in a cave below your raft. What's this? My skill clad steady is but a few leagues beneath my heart. That's right. Ask a Nemini to swim to me. Swim to me, my sweetheart! Well, the problem is LeChuck. Anemone's terrified and hiding out until all of this pirate apocalypse mongering blows over. How tragic. Perhaps you could drop something down to a stemily? Something to show your... Um, affection? A capital idea! Perhaps a poem! A haiku, even! I became a master of the haiku while working on the Sashimi Islands. Whatever, as long as it sinks. Don't you worry. While waiting for the currents to cooperate, I've been working on a game I've entitled Rock, Paper, Pen. How's it played? Well, paper beats rock, and then... The player must shame the paper into defeat by filling it full of lewd phrases using the pen. Uh, nothing like a good shaming. Anyway, I have all the materials I need to write my dear anemone a haiku. May my sinking stone lift quivering spirits. Your uh, fishy friend is holed up in the Leviathan's old cave and refuses to leave it. Poor thing. Probably as frightened as a foul-hooked haddock. That's all for now, Mr. Winslow. Very good, sir. Still in there, and then in the me? As long as LaChuck is still alive, I'll be in here. Thank you. Anemone, Winslow dropped a note down to you. It's sitting right over there. Mi amore. It's a love note. <laughs> I'll be back later. Be careful. Clam, I think we got off on the wrong foot. <laughs> foot. Oh, I'm sorry I made light of you not having two feet. Huh. Holy clam bubbles! Lock it saved! I say! Captain Threefwood, my beloved has sent me a sign. I must prepare myself for a reunion. Mizzens, I haven't smelled this rotten since languishing in my own filth while doing my time in the hold of Captain Liverbottom's traitor ship. What's that? Deodorant, Captain. Bought from the apothecary in Woodtick, I believe. Winslow, the locket isn't a sign from Anemone. She loved your poem, but I sent that locket up here. I can't touch it, but it's the thing that's going to reunite my ghost with my body. Oh, most important then. Most? Well, I'll hang it here as if it were our map. Remember our map, sir? How could I forget? Let this locket lead you back to your body, the way our map has led us to adventure! I'll just cover up the voodoo lady. Voila!
the voodoo lady's locket transfers spirits to bodies based on which way that little arrow button is pointing. I can't press it, though. But I bet Winslow wouldn't mind helping. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir? Mr. Winslow, would you mind pushing the button on that locket for your old captain? Certainly, sir. my body being this cold. Hey! Ah! Great jumping gibbets! It's alive! It ain't alive. It's some kind of voodoo zombie. Quick, chop its head off! What? Ooh, wait a second. Don't worry, Your Honor. A good womp in the choppers ought to take care of this one. I'm sure we can talk this out. Right, sir. I think I just had the spirit knocked out of me. Ah, uh, yes, that would explain the girlish scream, sir. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. Back for another round, zombie boy. I surrender. You do? Terrific! Off to jail with you. You there. I'll be back shortly. I'm taking this body to the jail. Sure. The ladies come calling. I'll tell them that's where you went. Oh, great. I'm in jail. Again. Hey, somebody stashed something behind this loose brick. It's a diary. Dear Diary, well, I am in jail. Apparently I misunderstood when the mer person I met asked if I needed a lift. I assumed that meant I could ride them all the way into town. Anyway, I'm hiding you for now in case they search me. I don't want anyone knowing my personal inner thoughts. Hmm, what else is in here? Dear Diary, I think that any moment now the manatees will start kissing. I hope I can slip out just as he slips the tongue. Ew, I think I've read enough. Gross. That other windowsill is covered with chewed gum. Whoa, that is one big wad of gum stuck up there. body is starting to feel all numb and tingly. I wonder if that's a bad sign. Is that some kind of poster in there? I can't quite see it from here. Uh-oh. Hey, what happened? I don't know, sir. The locket sparked a couple of times, and before I could say sexy fish, you were back here. Sexy fish? It's an expression, sir. Something I picked up while on my tour of the exotic Limbo Islands. So what you're saying is the effects of the locket are temporary? That does appear to be the case, sir. Well, that's just great. How'd my body get back here? We came to check on you and found it just laying around. We figured you were dead again, so we just put you back here. Yo, bug eye, 
What do you want, pipsqueak? Come on. How did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I really do not want to talk about it. No, no. Let me guess. Hmm. Perhaps you waited around until the mating ritual, made your way to the tongue, and escaped when the manatee went in for the kiss. Hey, who told you that? That's private information. And once free from the manatee, you... befriended a merperson who you ended up riding all the way to the shores of Flotsam. That's impossible! No one knows about that! Look at me! I'm Bug Eye. I like to get in on manatee makeout sessions and ride merfolk around. Are you mocking me, boy? Arr! Does it look like I'm mocking you? Arr! Well, I guess not. You're just really ugly. Yo, bug eye! What do you want, pipsqueak? You gotta tell me how you got out of the manatee and ended up on Flotsam. What part of don't want to talk about it didn't you understand? <sighs> Look at me! I'm bug eye! I like to get in on manatee makeout sessions and ride merfolk around. Are you mocking me, boy? Arr! Does it look like I'm mocking you? I'm Big Bad Bug Eye. I keep a girly diary. I wish I had hair so I could put it up in curls. Let's just see how that face looks with my fist shoved in it. Oof. All right, that's enough. I think you need some time to calm down, lad. It's off to the drunk tank for you. And you, don't slime up the place while I'm gone. I'll just leave him there until he cools off. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. I'm back! Hold your ground or I'll take you down myself! Ghosts are one thing, but I really hate zombies! I surrender! You do? Terrific! Off to jail with you! Bug Eye! We're neighbors! Shut your cheese hole, zombie boy. You're the reason I'm in here, you know. All right, all right. I'll keep it down. Free Guybrush Threepwood! Free Guybrush Threepwood! No new taxes! Down with porcelain! Hey, lay off the banging or I'm gonna shove that mug up your blowhole! Free Guybrush Threepwood. Free Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, this just isn't the same. Uh-oh. I feel a depossession coming on. Hey, look at that. A gaping round hole in the wall. 
The voodoo lady must have escaped through this. Convenient. Ah, sweet lady freedom. Uh-oh. <laughs> Welcome back, sir. You know, every time I pass out in the jail, they haul my body back to the bar and redecorate it. You think I should go back as a ghost and check on my body? Hmm. Yeah. Who knows what strange party favors they'll dress my body up in next. Thanks for the advice, Mr. Winslow. Certainly, sir. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. I'm back! Hold your ground or I'll take you down myself! Ghosts are one thing, but I really hate zombies! Bring it on, Grand Rump! So soon, sir. Ooh, yeah. Maybe I should try a different approach. Trying to concentrate here. Hi there. Captain Threepwood, as I live and breathe. Don't rub it in. Ooh, I'm a scary ghost. Yeah, uh, quit that. You aren't scary! You just screwed up my concentration! Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. I'm back! Hold your ground or I'll take you down myself! Ghosts are one thing, but I really hate zombies! I surrender! You do? Terrific! Off to jail with you! Let's see how Spirit Gum reacts to a little root beer. Ooh, that brings back unpleasant memories. Now this is delicious, and tingly, and... Hey, keep it down over there. Whoa. Now that is spirit gum. All right, corpsey body. Let's go get that Cutlass of Kaflu, save Elaine, and take down the Chuck once and for all. Hey, don't you leave me here. Come on, at least give me some gum. I'm back, LeChuck. 
Now that I have my root beer proof and only slightly rotting body again, I can touch anything I want. So get ready to be touched. To death. Sharp, pointy death. Finally. Ouch! How piece you that stings! Ha ha ha! Do you think I'm some kind of dolt, Freepwood? Dolt? This sword now has enough demonic power in it to bring down a god. Did you think we'd let you get your mortal hands on it? Seriously, who uses the word dolt anymore? With just one swipe, that sword could completely obliterate your body. I do wish you hadn't made such a pest of yourself. I wanted you alive to see me marry Elaine. I've told you a million times, LeChuck. I'm already Till married death to... death do you part, Freepwood. And that part has already been taken care of. Elaine, my dear, please dispose of this irritating corpse. With pleasure. Sweetie, stop! It's me! What? Good news, sir! I found the map! Mr. Winslow! How dare you! I have a wedding ceremony to plan, a dress to pick out, a reception to arrange, and some bridesmaids to slaughter. I don't have time for this. Governor or a pitiful pirate? Stupid sponge. I liked you better when you were smaller. Smaller? I've got to shrink that sponge. <laughs> this is marvelous. You really think you still have a chance? Go ahead. Give it your best shot. I'll even give you a head start. Just know this. There is nowhere you can go where I cannot find you. <laughs> Listen up, Sponge. It's time you lost some weight. I still have my Feast of the Senses spell in my body. I just need to find someone who can help me reverse it. Old Root, the pirate alternative to bathing. This might help stave off that fresh corpse smell I'm starting to notice. Winslow's Game Props. I guess he gave up on it. Winslow's Game Props. I guess he gave up on it. Fishnet woven of the finest meshes. Looks like Takava's helmet found its way out of the manatee in one piece. I wonder if Takava was so lucky. Up we go!
Hi, Caleb. Oh, hello again, Dry Rub. It's Guybrush. That's what I said. How did you say I could close the rips in the crossroads? If you sacrifice your last shred of life in the main tear, that should do it. But like I said, then you'd be stuck on this side for good, and LeChuck would be free to do what he wants on the other. Where have you been? Oh, I don't know. Just wandering, I guess. I thought I heard my dog over here. I guess I was wrong. Why are there other smaller rips in the crossroads? Oh, those are for ambience. They create a nice mood light for those nice romantic nights. The rips in reality are for mood lighting? Mood lighting? Are you nuts? The Chuck must have discovered the monkeys of Montevideo and used them to conjure up the location of the crossroads in the physical world. That would have weakened the integrity of the fabric between the worlds. Can you help me reverse this spell? You said you were a connoisseur of the occult, right? Beast of the senses. Trying to watch your figure, eh, Porky? What? No, it's not for me, obviously. It's for... Don't worry, carnivorous wood. Oh, come on. That doesn't even sound like three foot. Losing weight is easy if you follow a strict diet. Here, try this. No, I don't need a diet. I... Never mind. Hmm. Diet of the senses. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. A light touch for an appetizer. Stay true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. Fight the smell of the after-dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. Okay, I guess this is the only treasure I'm gonna get. Stupid cursed whispery parrot. Aha! Now I got you, tiny little parrots. Oh, they're like tiny annoying golden mosquitoes. Sorry guys, I need to keep you in a more contained space than my jacket pockets. Tree board. Whoa, Nelly! The spirit binding must be messing with my head. Hello, Guybrush. You can do that, too? I'm sorry, but I must still conceal my whereabouts and communicate through the vessels of nature's works. You picked a dead seagull? A perfect place to go unnoticed. I can't help but think the advantages of flight could be more useful. What the heck am I, anyway? I feel one step removed from a zombie. You are no stranger to the reanimation of corpses. You are now familiar with a form that LeChuck has known so well. So, you're saying I'm a zombie? Defining such states is folly in the realm of voodoo. I'm a zombie. If you insist. Is there anything else I should know about being a zombie? Are you flush with zombie advice? Your true form is not lost. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. But such powerful reanimation is outside of the realm of voodoo. It requires something much more rare. A four-headed monkey? Hmm. But I'm afraid I don't know either. The spirit must be compelled to reconstitute itself. That is all I can share. 
sure you've heard by now, but Elaine is a demon bride of LeChuck. Your wife's ways are her own, her fate compelled by unknown forces. Yeah, she's a bit of a loose cannon. For once, I agree with you, Treepwood. Aside from joining my archenemy, I generally appreciate the sass. Be careful, Guybrush. You must make your own choices, for Elaine does not trust in the ways of voodoo. Your ways of voodoo have really done a number on me lately. The ebb and flow of the tides of our suffering cannot be controlled. Why are you doing this to me? What did I do to chap your hide? I am not your enemy, Treepwood. In fact, I have most likely saved you from yourself. Right. Tell that to my shambling mess of a body here. Ever since LeChuck got a hold of your diary, he's really had it in for you. The Dread Pirate LeChuck is not one for nuances. You know this guy, Brush. Back on Flotsam, though, he seemed pretty convinced you were evil. What else happened back on Flotsam? Did he not slaughter you and your friend Morgan Le Flay in cold blood? LeChuck is mad as usual. I do not blame him for his anger towards me, or towards you. It is expected and beyond his control. You're saying LeChuck is just being LeChuck? Yes. I'm having a hard time getting over this dead seagull thing. You must realize that oftentimes in life, it is not where the message comes from, but the message itself. But it's gross. I have a semi-voodoo related question. How come when I opened the crossroads, I could pass through, but Morgan couldn't? Maybe you still have some connection to the physical world that you are clinging to. You mean my shred of life? Then that means LeChuck kept a shred of life when he died too. Perhaps. Who is to say if the shred was his own? Why should I believe any of this? Fine, you don't have to. I'll be going then. Whoa, whoa. You don't have to go. I have said all I can at this time. Good luck, Guybrush. Do not let the forces of ill will or the ignorance of others knock you from your path. Wait! I believe you! Ah, oh, man! Oh, what a surprise! It's locked. Looks like somebody was on their way to a LeChuck dress-up contest. Treepwood! Yeah, stop doing that! In there, you will find some of the things that allowed LeChuck to get so close to your beloved Elaine. What? I don't think I want to look in there anymore. LeChuck's human form was most impressive, but we can all use the help of voodoo from time to time. I think I'm set in the voodoo department. If it's trust you seek, LeChuck's belt should do nicely. Don't you find it strange that LeChuck left this stuff out here in the open? I think he'd want to get rid of it. LeChuck is... careless. The dead bird is not helping me trust her more. A feather. A tiny touch! Gross. Huh. Another hypnotized monkey. Banang. It's like grog for monkeys, and a leading cause of simian diabetes. How come there's only one of these? I thought all probationary members had to wear blindfolds. Probationary members? There are no probationary members here! But your bouncer said... 
Oh, 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 that rock rib! Always good for a laugh! Hey, WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back! I need to shrink La Esponja Grande with this voodoo spell. Seen any of these items around? I outgrew scavenger hunts long ago. And normal-sized pants, apparently. Hey, I have a smashing idea. You're in a bar that's literally built out of random sea flotsam. Maybe you should take a look around. Bet things have been pretty quiet in the old courthouse since I heroically gave my life to cure the pox of LeChuck. It's true! Without that LeChuck and pox voodoo poison coursing through our veins, flotsam citizens have returned to their usual roguish yet not entirely evil ways. LeChuck and pox? Great name. Why didn't I think of that? But with LeChuck on the loose, the crime rate is going through the roof! He did things to poor old Crimp Digit that we don't even have names for yet! Oh. Why is LeChuck committing undefined acts of evil on the citizens of Flotsam? He thinks we're hiding that voodoo lady, Chippy, and he won't take no ouch stop stabbing me for an answer. So, are you hiding the voodoo lady? Absolutely not! That witch is nothing but trouble with a capital T, and that rhymes with V, and that stands for voodoo. Give me a drink, grind stump. I'm afraid your bar privileges expired when you did, Threepwood. In your next life, try to settle your debts before you get killed, hmm? I surrender. Take me to jail. For what? For kidnapping my own body. Good enough. Let's go. A taste so bland there is nothing to savor. This ABC gum should fit the bill. Hmm. I guess I'll head back to the bar. How about a towel, sir? Thanks. Back in my regular digs. Only slightly worse for wear, considering. Diet of the Senses. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. This blindfold ought to do the trick. Hmm. Diet of the senses. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. The smallest a light, your sixth sense is bloated with fight the smell of the app to keep. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. Bon voyage, my barely audible buddies. A light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Diet of the Senses. A 
That doesn't need to be charmed. Fight the smell of the after dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. Fights odor and wetness for the active pirate. And sponges. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. There you go, sponge. Chew on this for a while. Hmm. Diet of the senses. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A light touch your fight to keep off. Welcome back, friend. Excuse me. What is it, friend? I need stuff to shrink a giant voodoo sponge. Have you seen any of these ingredients? Hmm. Well, I do have this old secret lying around here somewhere. What kind of secret? Shh. What? It's a secret. Well, keep up the good work. Oh, I am, friend. Hey, what's in this thing? That? Oh, that's a secret. Oh, what kind of secret? If I knew that, it wouldn't be a secret. Excuse me? What is it, friend? There's something, uh... Ooh, where? Why, I don't see no. anything over Secrets here. Secrets aren't meant to be stolen. Are you sure you meant... This is nice. Where'd you get this from? Ah, that I stole from Captain Bloodbeard himself, just after his crew mutinied and made him walk the plank. From the crow's nest. Oh. Why, I don't see anything over here. Are you sure you meant behind me? Maybe if I try squinting. Okay, I'm going to keep looking for just a little bit longer. But then I'm turning around. I don't see anything over here. Take a look at this. Nice find, friend. Did you steal that yourself? I did. I snatched it right off LeChuck's belt. Hmm. I trust that you did. Yeah? What if I told you that I stole this from a three-headed mermaid who had come here from the future riding a giant space turtle? I trust you, friend. If you say it's true, then I believe you. That doesn't need to be charmed. Well, I have no reason to torture them with this disgusting footwear. Nice secret you've got there. Care to share it with me? Hmm. Normally I wouldn't trust a thief like yourself, but there is just something about you. Oh, that's just the enchanted voodoo charm talking. What? Oh, nothing. That pirate thief stole my voodoo trust charm. He's good.
Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. One sponge shrinking secret coming up. Uh-oh. I hope that's not indigestion. What? Ah! Don't you think what you did can't be undone? Elaine will be my demon bride, come hell or high water. Guybrush, how? The voodoo lady. She brought me back. The voodoo lady? Think of all the peril that woman has put you in. You've been blindly led around by her for so long, Guybrush. But without her... Attack, my fishy friends! Get up with the old backward sea slab! Ah, enough of this! This be going on far too long! Elaine is mine! My demon bride, to make me a kingly breakfast each morning, to see to it that my fortress of evil is kept tidy in case we have guests over to torture, to patch up all my worn out tattered socks, and... Ah! That's my Laney Poo! You're right, sweetie. He doesn't give you much to work with, does he? Uh-oh. <clears throat> Excuse us a moment, Guybrush. The wifey and I need to have a little private talk. A futile, if admirably treacherous gesture, my buttercup. Even without La Esponja's help, I've already sucked up so much power that I can simply step into the crossroads and take as much voodoo energy as I desire. <laughs> you see, you can temporarily destroy my body, Elaine, but you cannot damage my spirit. Oh, my spirit! Take that, you big, ugly, undead voodoo stealing bunch back toad! Oh, Rinkin? What, what are you doing here? And where did you get that sword? Look, we can kill a Chuck, but we have to find a way to take him on in both the physical and the spiritual plane at the same time! Do what now? Look out! Ah! I'll be back for you, lass. Let's shock! <laughs> Think of all the times you tried to destroy me. Ah, uh, <laughs> to be fair. Ooh. Ow. All that pain, all that suffering. Now just imagine what I'm gonna do to you, Sorry, Pord! Always wanted to try this. I'm Guybrush Streetwood, Mighty Pi. Ooh! Whoa! Ow! Oh. Uh, Elaine! Guybrush! Uh, a little help here? I'm on it, sweetie. Uh, a bunch of barrels containing God knows what. Uh, they're locked up tight. Away from me, limited vintages of grog. We'll crack open the finest over your shriveled corpse. No use. My hook won't fit in this lock. <laughs> Would you mind inspecting me hull for me? Oh, full of holes. 
We should really take her into port and get a nice mug of grog. Ugh, talk about the good old days. I think today will become my good old days. Stop it, you monstrous maggot mating ground! <laughs> Elaine, not even you and your flimsy sword can stop me now. Watch me try! Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Did we enjoy our little swim? <sighs> Refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> you look spent, Swabby. Perhaps you ought to rest a spell. Off to your quarters. We can stop the chuck, but we have to do it when he's crossing between worlds. I'll try to lure him across. You stab him with the cutlass. I'll fight tooth and nail for you, Guybrush. Ladykins! Sleepy! I like the cannon! Yes, dear! There's a part of me that imagines LeChuck's cabin with pastel walls. <laughs> it's so cute, watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of ye barnacle brains? Ah! Oh! Ah. It's down to the wheelhouse. Try to fly away, little peepwood. Ah, it's a giant demonic cannon of doom that will be just big enough for me to hide in. Oh, it's so high up. Oh, my acrobatic skills are waning. What's so great about this? Ah! We're both getting our cardio in for the day? The simplicity. It's just you, me, my ship. Elaine! A no voodoo lady. By Blackbeard's boots, I hate that woman. Now I think it's time for you to swap the deck. About Morgan, Guybrush? What? That sultry sea minx had it for Threepwood. Her corsair sailed for only him. A pity I had to kill her. But now they can kindle their love in hell. Ah! Oh. Chuck, ah, oh, you've kidnapped Elaine. 
You've strung me up in lame traps, zapped me with a voodoo doll. You've tried to force me to be your undead slave, but never tried to kill me so brazenly. Which is the greatest mistake I ever made. What? Mind the drop. Oh. Quit making a mess. I'm going to swab my deck with your scraggly excuse for a beard. Wonder Bunny! Hey, Attack the truck! I'm on it, sweetie. Looks like that sword's been here for a while. It'd be useless as a weapon. Uh. Ooh, gentlemen, I quite honestly feel your pain. <laughs> I'm not done with you! We take a nice long vacation. I thought this was the vacation. to the wheelhouse. Now oh, I can't wait for you to give up and just go away! Cannon fire would go great with these multiple concussions. You got it, love. Ah, a seesaw. Let's see. Ah. Chuck's giving me a bit of the business. We need to trap him, Guybrush! Oh, you two can get cozy together when I'm done giving Threepwood his painful and permanent farewell into the afterlife. Ow! Ah! Mm. Guybrush, what are you doing? It's... The only way. What? Yeah! <sighs> you... <gasps> 
Is it over? Hello? Did we win? I guess we did. Hmm. Uh, the center of the crossroads. Guess I'm stuck here for good now. Ah, Elaine's ring. At least I managed not to lose it. Courage, anchor, direction, sacrifice. Place these things in a ring at the center of the crossroads. Ha! Ah, clever. Wow! What a rush! Hey, my hand is back! Oh. Guy Rush! Oh, it's about time! It is? But you were expecting me? But I was dead. Is that why you gave me- You should know enough to trust me by now, Guy Brush Threepwood. But you asked LeChuck to make you a demon bride. How did you know I would be able to bring you back from that? After all these years and all of our adventures, two things are certain. That I always have a plan. That Guybrush Threepwood will always come for me when I need him most. Oh, that sounds like something your husband might say. Well, the important thing now is that LeChuck is gone. For good this time. And you are finally free from whatever fate was planned for you and the Chuck. And that's what this whole Esponja Grande thing has been about, huh? Actually, it's pronounced Esponja with an H sound at the end. Really? But we've all been saying Esponja. Yes, I know. It's been bothering me this whole time. I'm just telling you because I don't want you to look silly. Oh, you're gonna get it.
So, my child, have you done as I asked? I have. Now for your end of the deal. Yes, your actions have influenced your fate. I will allow your ghostly form to return to the physical realm to carry on as a fearsome pirate hunter. Ghost pirate hunter, Morgan LaFlay. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Perhaps. You have chosen your own fate. Now go. There is much work to be done before the tides of destiny shift again. <laughs>